Open the menu options of the virtual database in the left panel and select New Data Source. This will open a list of all data source adapters that Denodo offers out of the box. You can scroll through them to select an adapter or search from the search bar. This step is very important as each adapter implements optimization for the specific target database. You will need a PostgreSQL adapter, so click on the PostgreSQL icon. On the data source configuration page, the following fields are required. First, give a name for the data source, in our case, DS Web Orders. We will also need the database URL field, which requires a valid URI to the database. In this field, you have to use the IP address and the port of your data source. By default, Postgres is listening in the 5432 port. When using the Denodo Common Lab containers, you can use a local host as the host name if you're using a local virtual data port instance, or Postgres if you're using the container image for the virtual data port server. Finally, you have to add the database name, website sys in our case. Transaction isolation defines the isolation level of the transaction executed in the database. You could leave it as default. Next, supply valid credentials to access the database. For now, we will use the standard use login and password method, providing the values website sys and website. After all the fields are filled out, click on Save at the top of our data source. It's a best practice to click Test Connection after saving the data source. That way, the virtual data port will verify that the data source can be accessed.